Hoyt Gracie. I'm happy to be here with IMI and Special Forces doing SOFAC. IMI specializes on ammunition for Special Forces. I would like to invite Eldad Sayada to join us. Thank you. Thank you, Hoyce. It's my pleasure to be here with you. Can you tell us about IMI? Sure, I'll be happy to do that. IMI started the, uh, about 80 years ago, uh, before the State of Israel even established. We started actually to uh, manufacture ammunition in the underground. And the British were in the country. And since then, on those days, just to give you an idea, we were uh, able to manufacture 50,000 rounds per year. Today, we can manufacture 1 million rounds per day. That was 50,000 per year, and now <laughs> 1 million per, per day, and that is only 556, not counting the others. Within IMI, there are three uh, major divisions. Uh, we are one of the divisions. We are small caliber ammunition. That's what we do. When we do a range of uh, calibers, which start with nine millimeter, 556, 762, 50 caliber, and 338 Lapua. Now with all these range of calibers, there are different types of ammunition. For example, if you take the 556 or the 762, could be uh, sold in the commercial market under 308, the 762. But for military, I'll uh, get to special forces in a minute, for military, uh, then it will have to be, for example, uh, penetrator armor piercing that could go through uh, barriers, or it could be a very, very accurate round. All of that we do in-house in Israel at the north of the country, and we're very proud to do that. Well, what's so special about the ammo for the Special Forces? Well, excellent question. I, I really uh, appreciate that, because people tend to think that a round is a round, and whatever you're buying around, the same. In 556, everything is 556. I can share with you our experience with Special Forces in Israel, where uh, our Special Forces comes in, and ask for uh, special ammunition. There are about five parameters that differentiate between regular ammo and the uh, special force. One, first one is very easy, accuracy. You would like to be much more accurate than the uh, standard uh, ammunition. When I'm talking about accuracy, people usually uh, mix between average which is standard deviation, and ES. ES is extreme spread. When you're talking accuracy, uh, I'll explain. The, the uh, standard deviation means in, in average, when you shoot X amount of ammo, how much of that will be in the middle or on, on target? In average. When we're talking about accuracy, we're talking about extreme spread, which means between the two first target that, you, that you, you shoot, what is the maximum distance? So it means that every round counts. We need to be able to have every round in target. Criteria number one, or parameter number one. I can give uh, uh, others for, uh, the other one is penetration. Penetration means that uh, we would like, when we, whenever we shoot a target through a barrier, it will go through a barrier and hit the target, correct? That's easy to understand, but if we, we look at the physics, usually when there is an object that goes through a different density, it will change its course. And then when you think you are hitting one target, actually you, will be, you might be hitting a different target. So we need to make sure when it penetrates, it will maintain its course to the target, it will not change course. So we had accuracy, penetration. Impact on target. When we are talking special forces, we want to make sure that it hits the target, but only the target, not any innocent person. For example, if the round, the, the bullet we're using, 
is not for special forces. It may go through, change its course, and hit an innocent person. We don't want that. And the last, uh, which is not least, it always has to be within budget. You can't come with this super, super round and say, hey, I got all criteria there, but it's out of the budget. So budget is, you know, I counted that the last, but it's not the last. It has to be within budget. There's so much study. I'm amazed. <laughs> well, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not a, it's, it's matter of experience, which we gather in Israel. Uh, by the way, we, I mean, what we take is our best experience because our ammo, uh, I didn't mention it before, but I am I producing the ammo for the Israeli forces, for all of Israeli forces, and of course special forces, which they come and we build it, we call it build to spec. On one hand, there is a mass production. I mentioned one million round per day. On the other hand, they come to us and ask us for specific performance, which is a, like a tailor -made. The idea is to take that within budget and then turn it into the market. We cannot always talk about everything we do and all the ammunition that we are able, but for special forces and special units, we are definitely able to talk. And of course, you as special forces, there's no question at all. We are able to uh, go to specifics and provide that ammunition. Okay, I understand about the battlefield, you guys are number one. But what's the application for the average person? Oh, that's that's an interesting uh, question. You know, when you go to manufacture, who manufacture only for the commercial, and you tell him now you try to build up a round which is a military standard, they'll have a big problems. But the other way around is easier because we are building according to military standard, but we, without, with a small, very small effort, we are providing the, the same and the ammo to the commercial market. Uh, the commercial market are using it for sports, shooting targets, for uh, hunting, Definitely all of these, you know, the, the, for example, the uh, 556, the commercial version is 223. Same, same round. There are, there would be still uh, people who are looking for steel core, 855, or, uh, or, or if I take the uh, 762, the commercial ver version will be 308. We are doing all of that. And by the way, the uh, 338 started with the snipers, commercial. It's still there. That's the, the majority for sports and shooting, you know, a thousand yards and hitting a target. That that range, it's not simple. I mean, with a telescope, you'll. Uh, I'm, I, I saw I saw your performance before, which is amazing how you're shooting. But if I tell you to shoot in a thousand yards, I think uh, that's not so simple. <laughs> But you need a special round for that. There are many reasons for, for that round in the market, but there is the majority. Our, our, our manufacturing capacity is divided or allocated between Israel, the IDF, between the global market, and one very, very big portion of our production goes to the US market. We are already shipping millions of millions. And people, uh, I think, at least from what I hear, uh, I think they appreciate the quality. Thank you all that for taking the time to talk to us. How would you like to summarize? Well, thank you, Royce. I would say, I am I ammo. If we trust it, you can trust it.